Now, uh, a question that uh, uh, find the area of the region that lies uh, inside the circle R, whose radius is R2, R2 is equal to 1, and uh, outside the corona end, R1 is equal to 1 minus cos theta. Uh, these, uh, these are the points R, R is equal to 1 and R is equal to 1 minus cos theta. Uh, so, the uh, outside uh, uh, region of the corona end, this is the corona end, the graph of the corona end in these cases. Uh, this one and uh, the uh, graph of the circle. This is the circle whose radius is equal to one unit. So the uh, outside, uh, the outside of the cardioid and the inside of the circle is uh, this region. Uh, now uh, the point of intersection of uh, these two curves. These are these two are the point of intersection of these two curves. And first we have to calculate uh, the point of intersection of these two curves. So, First, we have to calculate the point of intersection of these two curves. R is equal to 1 and R is equal to 1 minus cos theta. Substitute so, R is equal to 1 in equation R is equal to 1 minus cos theta. We have 1, R is equal to 1 is equal to 1 minus cos theta. After the simplification, theta is equal to plus or minus phi divided by 2. So, the point of intersection of these two curves are uh, plus phi divided by 2 and minus phi divided by two. These are these two points are the point of intersection of these two curves. Now the area of the required region, this uh, the area of this region is uh, calculated from minus pi divided by two to pi divided by two half. R one whole square minus R two whole square d theta. That is R one. R one is the radius of the circle. This is R one. So R one minus R two. This is R two. The length from the, car, the graph of the cardioid up to the pole is uh, denoted by R2. So R1, R1 whole square minus R2 whole square is equal to this region. That is, suppose this is uh, this length is R1. This is R1 minus the length from the current graph of the cardioid up to the pole is R2. So R1 minus R2 is equal to this region. So the uh, so we have to calculate uh, the area of this region uh, by applying this formula. Uh, now R1 substitute the value of R1 is equal to 1, 1 whole square minus so substitute the value of R2. So R2 in this case is 1 minus cos theta whole square d theta. And we have to integrate uh, this uh, integrand with respect to uh, theta uh, from the uh, bound uh, minus pi divided by 2 to uh, pi divided by 2. Uh, one whole square is equal to one, and uh, uh, apply a minus b whole square uh, formula, which is equal to uh, one whole square plus uh, cos of theta whole square minus two, uh, cos of one multiplied by cos theta, and uh, uh, multiply uh, that result by minus one. We have minus one minus cos theta whole square plus two cos theta whole square. Cancel one with one. After the simplification, we have minus cos theta whole square plus two cos theta. This is the uh, definition of two functions. So integrate the uh, first function as in as well as uh, the second function. Now minus uh, cos of theta whole square is uh, equal to one plus uh, cos of two theta divided by two because cos theta whole square is uh, 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 we are unable to integrate uh, cos cos of theta whole square in this case. So we have to convert uh, cos theta whole square to its uh, equivalent function, which is equal to 1 plus cos of 2 theta divided by 2 d theta, which is integrable. This is the sum of two function. So uh, apply integration to 1 as well as uh, on 2 cos 2 theta. We have minus 1 over 4, uh, integral of uh, 1 with respect to theta minus. Uh, minus 1 over 4 integral from minus 5 divided by 2 to 5 divided by 2 cos of 2 theta d theta plus the integral of cos theta is directly equal to sin theta divided by derivative of theta with respect to theta limit from minus 5 divided by 2 to pi divided by 2. Now the integral of 1 is equal to with respect to theta is equal to theta limit from minus 5 divided by 2 to pi divided by 2 minus 1 over 4 the integral of cos 2 theta is equal to the sine of 2 theta divided by derivative of 2 theta. And uh, uh, the upper boundary 
uh, of this uh, integral place so pi divided by 2 so sin of pi divided by 2 minus sin of minus pi divided by 2 is a whole divided by 1 the, de the derivative of theta with respect with respect to theta is equal to 1 now the you take the upper and lower bound on the function we have minus 1 over 4 multiplied by uh, phi, uh, phi divided by uh, 2 minus uh, minus phi divided by 2 minus 1 over 4 if I the upper boundary bound limit sine of 2 uh, 2 theta theta is replaced by phi divided by 2 minus sine of 2 multiplied by minus phi <coughs> divided by 2 is a whole divided by 2 is constant push out 2 from the derivative sign and the derivative of theta with respect to theta is equal to 1 which is equal to 2 plus sine of pi divided by 2 is equal to 1 and uh, sine of minus pi divided by 2 is equal to minus 1 so minus minus uh, is equal to plus 1 now the uh, after this simplification we have 2 pi divided by 2 multiplied by minus 1 over 4 which is equal to minus pi divided by 4 and uh, sine of pi is equal to 0 and sine of minus pi is also equal to 0 plus uh, 2 after the simplification we have minus 5 divided by 4 plus 2 that is 2 minus 5 divided by uh, 4 is the area of the shaded 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 region now uh, r is equal to 2 cos of 2 theta is the equation of the cardioid and uh, we have to calculate uh, the area of the region bounded by the cardioid r is equal to 2 plus uh, this is the the, the graph the rough sketching of the graph of this cardioid is uh, this is the cardioid now uh, the value of theta in this case so when theta is equal to 0 uh, r will be equal to the length of r will be equal to this length and when the theta is equal to 30 degree the value of r will be equal to this length and so on when theta is increases so theta is increases up to 90 degree then the value of r the length of r is equal to this length this is the rough sketching of this graph and when theta is uh, uh, greater than 90 degree then the value of r will be this point and so on up to 180 degree when the value of theta is equal to 180 degree then the value of r will be equal to 0 and when the theta is greater than 180 degree then the length from the origin up to this point is uh, these are the points and when theta is equal to 180 degree then the value of r is this length and when theta is greater than 270 degree then the value of r is uh, equal to these are the lengths so this is the sketching of the graph and uh, up to this point so the value of theta is from 0 to 2 pi that is uh, the total angle uh, measured from the cardioid is uh, from the 0 to 2 pi now the area of the uh, region bounded by the cardioid is equal to half r square d theta. The substitute the value of r, r is equal to 2 plus 2 cos theta whole square and after the simplification and apply the, uh, this is the sum integrals of uh, uh, many function apply integral operator on each of the function. Now cos theta whole square is equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by 2 and uh, this is a simple uh, uh, function integrator the integral of 1 is equal to theta and uh, cos theta is uh, uh, again a simple function with the integral of uh, uh, the, uh, the result of so cos theta the integral of the result of the cos theta is equal to sin theta divided by derivative of theta with respect to theta now the, the upper limit and the upper bound uh, substitute the upper and lower limit of the function we have 4 pi and uh, uh, this is a sum of two function uh, 2 is common 2 divided by 2 multiplied by integral of 1 d theta and uh, 2 divided by 2 multiplied by integral of cos 2 theta plus the 2 upper bound the upper limit is uh, 2 pi so sin of 2 pi minus uh, sin of 0 degree divided by 1 and uh, this result is equal to 4 pi 4 pi plus uh, 2 cancel 2 with 2 uh, the, the integral of 2, 1 with respect to theta is theta theta 0 to 2 pi and uh, the integral of cos 2, 2 theta is sin 2 theta divided by the of 
2 theta with respect to theta, limit from the 2 pi, and uh, uh, sine of 2 pi is equal to 0 minus uh, sine of 0 is equal to 0, and this is equal to 4 pi, the upper boundary is 2 pi minus 0 plus uh, sine of 2, uh, 2 multiplied by 2 pi minus sine of 0 degree, uh, radian divided by 2. 2 is constant, push out 2 from the integral, derived of sine and derived of theta with respect to theta is equal to 1, the result is 2 plus 0. 4 pi plus uh, 2 pi and sine of 4 pi is equal to 0 and sine of 0 radian is also equal to 0, 0 divided by 0, the result is 2 sex pi, which is the required uh, area uh, of the cardioid, uh, uh, area bounded by the cardioid R is equal to 2 plus 2 cos of theta.